So I thought about doing this story um, when the artsy fartsy party event thing went around, and then I got here. And Matt's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Nothing." And he's like, "No." My dad was all like, "Oh, that girl's totally the girl with a dragon tattoo." <laughs> so anyway, this is a story that Brandon hates. He's not here, so fuck him. <laughs> but anyway, Brandon Ross and I used to be roommates, and when we had nothing else to do, we would tell stories of our past. And as many of you may know, I used to be an adult entertainer in New Orleans, so most of my good stories come from New Orleans. On this one occasion, it was my favorite DJ's 40th birthday, and we were celebrating. Now, a celebration in New Orleans is excessive. So, if you've ever been to New Orleans, you know that many of the bars don't even close, which is something that I miss a lot. But it was probably about 3 a.m. and I'd had about six drinks already, and at this point, I think I'd made out with one DJ's daughter, the DJ himself, as it was his birthday, so we're off to a good start already, right? Anyway, our bar closes and we decide, well, we want to take the party on the road. So we're going to go down Bourbon Street and see who else is open. So we go down to this hustler-affiliated Deja Vu Club where I later ended up working. Awkward. Anyway, so we are soon hustled up into the uh, VIP lounge where I proceed to make out with another dancer and people start pouring me shots of Patron. Oh, this now, story is going to be awesome. <laughs> now, if any of you have had Patron, and I'm sure many of you have, you do not turn down free shots of Patron. Not even after the 15th one? Well, I didn't get to 15. It was probably more like seven, but oh, wow. six drinks in, we have seven shots of Patron. It's a good time. So I end up making out with a bartender. Now, how many are we up to now? Is anyone keeping track? Four. Four. Okay. So my DJ, wasted beyond belief, comes up to me at one point and says, Oh my god, do you know who the band Vader is? Now, no one in this room probably knows who Vader is, but they are a Polish death metal band. And I'm like, yeah, actually I do only because one of my best friends from Wisconsin had recently gone to see them and somehow they ended up in the club that I was at that night. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, totally. If, you know, only for bragging rights. So I go and I meet the group and immediately the guitarist is like, oh my god, I think I love you. <laughs> And I'm like, you're so full of shit. So he's trying to like get me back in the VIP room, you know, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, so I make up with him. <laughs> That's a good night. That's a good night. But uh, <clears throat> towards the end of the evening, I'm sure wasted. And he comes up to me. And because he hasn't gotten very far, he finally, he, he takes my chin in his hand, and in the most beautiful Polish accent, which I'm about to butcher, he says, I will find you. I will come for you. <laughs> and I just kind of fucking laughed and threw up in my mouth a little. <laughs> so, I wouldn't have gotten home that evening. If my manager, who was also out partying with us, hadn't shoved me in a cab, over the next two days, I was still drunk. And I don't mean like I woke up in the morning and I was hungover. I mean I was drunk. I threw up in the car in a soup container. And also in the Pottery Barn parking lot. My roommate was an asshole. He decided it would be a good idea to go shopping with me in this state. But after all of that, after all of that, I get home, finally, I'm like in no state to go to work. I get home and I start going through my work bag to clean my terrible outfits and make sure my shoes are clean and everything. And I realize that I left my fucking 
fucking boot at the bar. <laughs> and at this point, Brandon stops me and says, is this a fucking story about a boot? <laughs> 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 